Welcome to the Dale Sabor A Tu Salute podcast by Tadine. I am your host, Chef Carla Contreras. Join me as we steep in the world of Tadine with interviews from fellow creatives, foodies, and entrepreneurs from our comunidad. Marcela, welcome to the podcast. I am so grateful and excited to have you. Can you share with us who you are and how you serve your community? Thank you so much for having me here. My name is Marcela Rieta. I am an entrepreneur and an energy healer. And the way that I love to serve my community is by creating artisanal, handcrafted, personal care products that bring our cultura in and also through my energy healing practice because we all need healing. Beautiful. Let's talk about tea first. What's in your tasa? What was your last study in tea? Well, my last one and my current one has to always be my chamomile and lavender tea, one of my favorites. But do you want to know which one I drink at night? Let me yeah. give you that. Well, yes. Here it is. Ah, I love oh, it. Oh, I love this. Seven Blossoms is is one of the best teas. How do you take these teas? How do you drink them? I really like to drink them just with the warm water and a hint of honey. It really brings back memories de mi abuelita y de mi mamá. So that's really what I'm diving into. Intuition is a big part of your work. I would love to know what is your definition of intuition? And maybe you can share with us something around that. Yes, you know, intuition can mean different things to many people. But for me, what intuition means is really the whisper of our soul. Our soul is trying to tell us something. And for whatever reason, we choose to listen to it, we might not know how to recognize this voice. It's not really a voice, but it's this frequency, or we're just too busy with everyday life that we can't really pick up on this frequency. And how could we practice this? I feel like we touched on this before we hopped on the podcast, but do you want to share with us around the mug and taking in tea and how we could tap into our intuition? Yes, I'm so happy that you brought this up because this is a practice that is so easy to do. So what you do is you take your favorite tadin tea, warm cup, honey, sugar, whatever you want to add. I know in your case, you add a bit of cacao, correct? So Mm -hmm. that's beautiful. And what we want to do is that we really want to set our intention and be mindful. I love to tap the center of my heart. This simply just activates the sense and the energy of love. And we form this intention. What do I want for today? I want happiness. I want health. I want abundance. I want prosperity. I want relaxation. And we sip our tea mindful. And as we do that, mi querida, we listen to that voice. And what is that voice? What is that intuition telling you? And that intuition, at least for me, just told me, todo va a estar bien. Keep moving forward. And I want to know what your intuition is telling you. Mine is connection. And that's the reason that we're here right now is that I'm here to connect with you and to listen to your story and to share it with our community. And I hope that they also share their stories with us. Yes. And that felt right. That intuition just felt right. If it doesn't feel, the message doesn't feel right, that might not be the intuition. And you could sip that tea again touch your heart, be mindful, ask a question, and you will know when that message is the right one for you. Tadin is rooted in wellness. So I'm curious about how wellness plays a role in your life and in your business. Wellness is everything. I learned from a very young age that if we are not well, we are transmitting that to other people around us. So it's very important to take time to be mindful, to do your meditation practice or whatever you choose to do and assure that what you're bringing into your space is the energy or the attitude that is going to elevate other people because we don't know what other people are going through. We just know what we're going through. But imagine that we could bring to this space positivity, buenas vibras. It's contagious. It's so interesting that you say that it's contagious because you have shifted your career. 
you had a different life and then you started a new journey. I'm curious about that listening to Uso de Razon, yes. your intuition, and also the call to share ancestral knowledge. Yes, you know, I think that has been rooted in my being for the longest time. But as we just talked about intuition, I didn't do a very good job of listening to it at that time until my body started getting very sick. My emotions, my thoughts were very toxic at that time. And I remember coming home super stressed and thinking, okay, what is one of the things that would help me relax? And this is pre-energy healing, pre-knowing how to meditate or how to pray properly. And what came to mind is being with my abuelita, being with my mom, they would always, always offer me un té de manzanilla, un té de whatever they could, they, they found in the garden. And I started thinking to myself, wait a minute, this is ancestral knowledge that we cannot lose that we have to continue passing down and bringing to the to to everybody's mind and everybody's presence and telling our story and that's really when I started shifting my career and using el uso de razón like you mentioned which is is this the right path for me to take right now it's not what i want it's what needs to happen and what needs to happen is I need to move in this direction. And I did. And thankfully, here we are. It's so beautiful to hear your story. And you also, I feel like it was a magazine article you mentioned about visions when you were little. Can you share a little bit about what that is and what was it like? It's funny that you mentioned that because ever since I was a little, little kid, I had imaginary friends and I know a lot of us do, but you know, you're never really told what that is or who it is. And I always thought, no, it's just a figment of my imagination. And in that process, I remember these visions, seeing myself in these spaces, sharing our stories, our authentic stories, but there was a benefit to that. It wasn't just about sharing about the glamour of, oh, look at me, I'm famous, or oh, look at me, look what I'm doing. No, it was sharing the stories so that they could benefit the next generation so that they could also heal of these generational traumas that we all carry and that we need to let our shine glow bigger. Yeah, and that is something that may not be taught And it's something that maybe someone that's listening to this podcast needs that reminder that they have a light that's within inside them. Yeah. And with social media, I think we are probably one of the last generations to have experienced life without social media. So I know how that feels. I know that it's also very fulfilling. You have conversations. You get to go out with people. You get to go out and play in the dirt like I did when I was a kid. Fast forward now is there's so much information out there. And unfortunately, we do compare ourselves to what we see this perfect life on social media. And that that in a way clouds our ability to see how bright and how beautiful we are. And a reminder of how we started this podcast And this is a question for you. Could we come back to this mug? Could we come back to, you know, having a cup of day and sitting with ourselves? And what would that be like? You know, I do this all of the time is I might not have the mug with me at that moment. I might not have my favorite tea at that moment. But if I'm driving or if I'm around people who are very stressful or in a situation, all you have to do is tap your heart and go back in your mind's eye, go back to that cup of tea and remember, register how that made you feel and not just register it on a physical level, but also what was that whisper coming from wherever it's coming from? How is that making you feel? And more than not, it'll bring you back to space. It will center you and it will help you remember who you truly are and what you are here to do. And what we're here to do is to manifest our greatness. And let's talk about manifesting your greatness because you started a soap company 
And you not only started that soap company, but you involved your family. And in like, I want to like highlight, circle, underline, you were the first Latina owned product in the wellness section in Whole Foods. And how did you, to use your words, manifest that? Wow, that is, brings back a lot of memories. How I did that at that time is I was already on this this wellness path. And I remember in this meditation, I kept seeing Whole Foods and I thought to myself, yeah, yeah right, you know, self-sabotage. And listening to this intuition, I kept working towards, okay, how am I going to make this happen? How am I going to present my product to Whole Foods in a way that they could embrace it? And the way that you manifest things, it's not through visualization only, it's through acting. So yes, I visualized it. I received the vision. That was the first thing. Second is I visualized it. I felt it with every part of my being, that emotion, that glory, that wow. And third is I physically acted upon it. And I walked into a Whole Foods and I literally took a big basket of product it said gratitude in front, by the way. That was the only basket they had divinely meant to be. Who knows? And I said, the, oh, my God, I still remember it, Amiga. And I said, this is why you need my product. And the, the person's looking at me like, oh, okay. You know, as a matter of fact, we do need a new a bulk soap. And the rest is history. But to touch on what you mentioned earlier, we are still the only Latina owned brand of bulk soap in that category for the Southern Pacific region in Whole Foods. And we are so proud of that. And if someone was new to this, I want to talk about the embodiment piece, because I feel like this is something that needs explanation. If someone was new to this, what does it mean to feel it in your whole body? Well, to feel it in your whole body is when you want to achieve something in life. Let's say that I want to make this mug, for example. I have the vision of what that mug is going to look like. Second, what you do is that you actually have to act out how it feels to have the mug in your hand, how it's going to make other people feel when they have this mug in their hand. But here's the thing. We're going to start hearing little voices. A lot of people call this imposter syndrome. And the way to navigate around that is constant clarity. And you could do it through meditation, through prayer, whichever your your practice is. And it's just moving forward, keeping feeling of how is this mug making me feel? How is it going to change the world? And just keep moving forward. And moving forward, you also have another brand, Vita by Marcella. Can you tell us what is it like to bring your, and this is again, bringing ancestral wisdom into your work and into your offerings. And I know that something new is coming. Yes. You know, it's, it's cultura, it's heritage, it's modernizing it for the everyday person. When my mom and my grandmother made these, these, these creams or these soaps, it was a very homemade process. Put it in the refrigerator and three days, that was it. You threw it out. So we take that knowledge of the herbs, of the plants, of the properties, of the guava powder that we use, of the turmeric, of the tepescoita that we use, and blend it in a way that the everyday person not just enjoys it, but could actually tap into that ancestral energy and feel on all levels, on a physical, emotional, on a mental level, maybe on a spiritual level, they could feel, oh my God. Yes, I want more of this into my life. And what's coming? I mean, I think it's limitless. We have a range of not just soaps. We have hydrating face masks, scrubs. We have aromatherapy sprays. We have candles that are meant to evoke heritage, culture, and ancestral knowledge. Amazing. Amazing. Thank you for sharing that. One of your missions is to empower the Latino community. I would love to know the ways that you do that, but also if someone was inspired by this message, 
what would you tell them? That is definitely one of my many missions is to inspire the Latino community and non-Latino community. I feel that whoever is listening to this, regardless of where your cultura is, if it inspires you, follow your dream and act it out. We're, we're waiting for that to happen because it inspires everyone. And one of the many things that I learned in this process is I used to, keyword there, used to, if I had a vision and if I felt something was the right thing to do, I would do it. But I forgot to take my mind with me. <laughs> and what that means is do your research if you're starting a business, whether it's artisanal products, whether it's a holistic practice, at the end of it, it is a business. So understanding the many, many rules of business, seek out your small business administration, and they offer a lot of free resources. There's many people that you could tap their shoulders. I'm more than happy to be one of them if you want to reach out and just get informed before you move forward. Because if If we don't, and what happened to me is that I created more problems for myself at the beginning, and I know that those challenges could have been easily resolved if I would have taken maybe a day or two to research what I was doing. It's so important when you're sharing that information of taking the steps, and you're right, there's free resources that are all around. Yes, definitely. So seek them out. They're so important. They're eager to help. I know I am because I was in your shoes and still am. There's still many things that I want to accomplish in this lifetime, but one thing at a time. What new products or projects, I want to say both products and projects, because you have both are going to unfold in 2024 and beyond. Well, I'm super excited to share that my holistic practice, energy healing, classes, courses, free resources will be coming to everybody who wants to receive them in 2025. And it's a combination of online. It's a combination of live events, physical Pres, uh, what do they call it? Presencial. You see, I'm starting to get into that Spanish mode. So I'm, I'm eager to share it because it's not just about the person coming in and receiving healing. It's about also sharing how the person can accomplish that at home. I do feel that part of our, our purpose here is to share how a person can duplicate those results, not just doing it for them. So it's giving them the ancestral knowledge that you have and or empowering them to do it themselves. Yeah, the tools, the techniques, and you're right, it's empowering them. Whether we choose to use them or not, that's a whole different subject, but at least we are sharing our ancestral knowledge. And that way, we continue with tradition and every generation I feel makes it better. We add a little bit of our knowledge because a hundred years from now, our family will think, or our, our ancestral knowledge that came from Marcela. I mean, it's hard to comprehend, but that's really what we're doing. We're working towards the next generations and they are looking back at what is it that they did and what is it that they are doing. It's so so interesting because we're constantly living in the past, the present, and the future. It's just like, wow, time travel, right? <laughs> 100%. Marcella, can you share us how we can find you, how we can support you, how we can work with you? Yes, thank you. Thank you again so much. You can find me at Vida by Marcela on Instagram and all socials on our, my website. You could also find me at Coach Marcela Arrieta for all of your energy healing needs. Gracias. Thank you so much for steeping in the world of Tadine. I am your host, Chef Carla Contreras. You can find Tadine at Tadine Teas on Instagram and more information in the show notes. If you're on iTunes or Spotify, please leave us a review. Adios.